Howdy y'all, and welcome to the Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space centered about all things the Dark Crystal. I know I'm behind on the news, and I wanted to get it out, and I thought the quickest way would be if I just live-streamed it, and just kind of, uh, I didn't necessarily play it by ear, because I do have this kind of scripted out and written down, but I'm not going to be doing fancy filters and video editing and things like that, so, uh, let's go, shall we? Well, with the end of Hupril and the inauguration of All Madra Mayrin, Let's round up the news from the past Udom on today's episode of The Dark Crystal Conjunction. What better day to do it than Mother's Day, since it's all Madra Major. And as you see, the Dark Crystal official did tweet out a Happy Mother's Day, posting the all Madra. Rip. Anyways, uh, let's get on to some more news. So first up, we have something that I'm super excited about. It is... Let me see if I can... I tried to set this up so I could just switch my browser tabs. Let's see if I figured it out. Nope, wait, wait, it's this button. Haha. -ha. Yes, so first up, we have the Dark Crystal Trivia Night. That's coming up this Thursday, May 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or that's 6 p.m. Central, if like you live where I live, or if you live in the swamps of Sog, like Melody. Ha, and hello from France, Canon. Now, welcome to the monthly news that I'm super behind on, but wanted to get it out. Anyways, this is happening, uh, it is a, as you can see here, a Dark Crystal Trivia Night. They did this with the Labyrinth about a week ago or so. It seemed pretty successful. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be joining along. The entry is $5. It's going to be a time of fun. It's a good way to support the Center for Puppetry Arts, which has closed due to, or, you know, temporary closed due to uh, COVID-19 and whatnot. They're still doing like virtual tours and things. In fact, they did a uh, Dark Crystal exhibit. They, they showed it there, which there's a little picture preview of it there in the background but anyways this trivia sounds really fun that's coming up join it on zoom i want something fun to do i want to be there and i've been getting tweets from people like oh if you're going to be there you're definitely going to win isn't that that's not true uh because who knows what they're going to do it sounds like they're going to do some behind the scenes type stuff you know there's other guys that know tons more about that stuff than me trust me some of the guys i know on facebook uh could cream me at dark crystal trivia but i'm still going to participate for fun so i think we should do this together then well, next up, we have, in the comics world, we last got issue number seven, if you remember, of the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, which was canceled, well, not necessarily canceled, but was delayed due to COVID-19 and whatnot. Let me change this music. This music is way too, like, crazy for a, ah, there we go. Let's just go with standard old theme, which was delayed due to COVID-19 and whatnot. Comic book stores had a temporary shutdown or close, I should say, and the distributor of the comic books also had to stop their shipping. They stopped their shipping. This is shipping once again. It was pretty bu a bummer because this was like the penultimate issue of the Hup series that we last got. The fourth and final one in that series, which was issue number eight, was supposed to come out April 29th, 2020, but it is now set to come out June 10th, 2020. 20. So here you can see that is main cover, and you have the variant cover by, of course, the wonderful sisters Kelly and Nicole Matthews. Always love their work. Uh, and it looks like Hup has definitely been gaining some weight on his quarantine. Uh, 
uh, just constantly open the fridge, you know, there's not much else to do. So uh, it's just quite a temptation. Anyways, let's move on. We got our first look at an upcoming Weta workshop statue of Irva the Archer last month. And they said, quote, it is almost ready to join our group of resistance fighters. Stay tuned for more details over the coming months, end quote. They have temporarily closed their shop due to COVID-19 as well. So probably add in a couple more months to that estimate. But either way, this sculpt looks incredible. They always do incredible work. And seeing as how their Gelfling are anywhere between 129 and $150, and of course you can see a lot are sold out, and their Skeksis are around the $499 range, US dollars of course. I assume that's what this is going to be. I, I assume that the Uru are going to be somewhere between there, probably more on the Skeksis side of things. So we'll see how detailed it is. The Skeksis of the Emperor one is their most detailed Dark Crystal one. Uh, also, I wanted to note that, as you can see, this was sold out previously, Skexo the Emperor, but currently there are some available, so you definitely should jump on that if you were looking for one, because it is currently re-available again. What could have happened is someone may have pre-ordered, put down the, the down payment, but they couldn't ultimately fulfill it. I don't know, maybe they lost their job due to COVID. I don't know, who, who knows what happened, but there are some more available now. So, if you're interested you will definitely want to check that out. I'm sorry, the music is blaring in my ears. All right, what else do we have? Oh, yes, so here, speaking of sculpts, uh, let me go back to the top here. This is a really long webpage. Ah, yes, yes. Speaking of statues, here are some minis that I've been showing previews of by Broken Toad, which makes incredible models. They do incredible work. Uh, they got a Jim Henson license and their Kickstarter is currently live. It's actively live. Like right now, today is March the something, Mother's Day, All Madras Day, whatever today is. Um, 13 days left to go, uh, as it'll say in the date, because this is live. This is why I don't do stuff live, because I'm really bad if I don't have it scripted and edit myself. <laughs> Anyways, they got a Jim Henson's license and their Kickstarter is live. It was fulfilled. They were trying to raise $12,000. It was fulfilled in like 15 minutes. It blew them away. It blew me away. Uh, I was really glad to see so many collectors and kind of the model kit makers excited about this. So anyways, uh, these are highly detailed 1 10th scale bust and 1 24th scale full figure resin miniatures. So yes, they do come unpainted like this. You do put them together. As you, says, as you see, it's officially licensed model kits. So this is... Um, like you, you could paint it yourself and whatnot. But anyways, let's take a look at these. Broken Toad, of course, they do very high quality stuff. The two properties they're working on is the Labyrinth and the Dark Crystal for this specific Kickstarter. So here you can see all the Labyrinth ones first up. And then we will move on to the Dark Crystal one. So here's Chamberlain, you know, 45 pounds, which comes out to about... Uh, 56 US dollars, I believe when I when I looked it up earlier. Um, this just rotates the 3D model. Here you can see Skekok, the scroll keeper. So you can you can either do a one dollar pledge or one pound pledge, and it opens up their, their store to where you can order these individually. Or if you get the whole bundle of Dark Crystal, you get a you get a, a discount, and it's gonna wind up being 375 pounds, as you can see here. That comes out to about 465 US dollars. But these are incredibly detailed sculpts. Uh, they look beautiful. I mean, just look at these. I love how they have, of course, these are all from the Dark Crystal film, so you're not going to get any Age of Resistance. That's a different property that's under Netflix, um, which what a workshop's all doing right now, anyways. But I love how they included characters that you don't typically see. Like, how cool is this? Orak the Scribe. Like, have you ever seen any, any things from him? I don't recall any. Uh, he's got that great epic pose. I love how their their sculptures or their sculptists, their sculptors are really good at capturing, you know, a, a, a dynamic scene. I think they did a really good job. Skeksel with his sword, so good. Husky ga Skekung with his sword. Yes, we're ready. Look at that full tongue out. He's just ready to throw down. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Landstriders, Jen on his Landstrider. These are beautiful sculpts. They have some close-ups you'll see here. And of course, these are all resin, ready for you to paint. Of course, you can also hire people to paint it, but that's another expense. But look at the great detail on Fizzgig and uh, 
So good. I'm totally pumped about these. I don't know if I'm actually going to buy any, <laughs> but look how wonderful, look how wonderful they look. Just beautiful, beautiful. Here you can see someone's hand for scale. Hopefully he's a tiny man, so those are actually bigger than they look. Just kidding. Uh, there's measurements and rules, and all the details are here. There's lots of details. There's already add-ons they've had. It's really cool. Dark crystal, pencil decorations. So this kind of stuff, I would also really love to have. Make little keychains out of them, uh, or whatever. Uh, there are some Kickstarter exclusives. This is unlocked. The please, please, yes, friend. As you can see, it's a, you're not going to be able to get this outside of getting it on Kickstarter again. You have 13 days left. So, anyways, you can check all this stuff out. Here are pictures. So all these up here are like the 3D models of it. Down here is them actually um, created um, the resin cast cast forms. This is how they will come to you and whatnot. Um, again, they look just as incredible as their 3D model. So, anyways, with that, let's move on. Yeah, I'm, I am excited. Their art room. So speaking of well. I, I've already brought up the Dark Crystal Bestiary before. We finally did get some pictures of it. At first, you could only see mobile pictures of it last month. You could only, like, if you went to the website, it would still say, show you no pictures. You couldn't see anything. And here, here they are really small. I actually enlarged it. But anyways, just a real quick guide to rem remind you of this. This is going to be 168 pages coming out October 13th, as you can see, for $29.99 US dollars. And it looks really good. Again, Inside Editions does great work. And I'm glad that you have Brian and Wendy Froud involved in this as well. Uh, hopefully they do more than just the foreword. I don't know who does the actual writing in it. But as you can see from these close-ups here, they now have given us high res. Actually, as of today, it was the first time when I was getting this ready. I was like, oh, you can see this on the computer now. You should only be able to see it on mobile. And it was tiny, really bad pictures. But um, this looks like just something that I totally want from a Dark Crystal book. Just give me the details on the flora and the fauna, you know, which is so alive in Thra. So super pumped about this. Firelings, yep. Firelings, I really love it. I really love it. It's weird they don't capitalize Gelfling there, but anyways, um, I will forgive them. But I love how this is This is some good... I have a lot of new artworks. It's the sketches from obviously what they were working on with the film or comic books or I don't know exactly where they're from. I'm curious to read the foreword when we get that. But here you can see the Nebri. Uh, great. Look how cute and cuddly. Someone needs to make me a Nebri pillow. I'd pay good money for that. Ha. Anyways. Uh, other books we got. The Dark Crystal Touch and Fill Book of Opposites. The Play Pop book. This is, you know, for ages three to six. So it is a child's book. The only difference... I've, I've already showed you this coming out October 20th, 2020, $9.99 US dollars. We did get the cover, so it does look like this. It's a touch and fill book, so it's going to be very cutesy. And, you know, don't expect anything new or a lot of depth from that. You know, if you're a 30 year old man and you're upset at this, I mean, it's designed for three year olds. So I'm always excited to see a wide range of books. You know, they can't make everything specific for me, so it's fine. Um, I've just seen people complain about it. So, anyways. You don't have to buy it. Other really big news is after years and years, DarkCrystal.com finally got an update. The, the glossary updated a ton. They primarily updated stuff regarding the Age of Resistance. There's some minor updates in other areas as well, but uh, it's super exciting. There's now a canon section, so stuff that people I would always argue with, like, oh, that's not canon, that's not canon. I was like, it is canon. They've said it is in the past. Everything's been canon. So it's nice having it written down here. Not This all doesn't seem totally complete yet because it seems like there's a lot of misspellings on there still and there's still some stuff lacking and stuff in here that's not on the canon list. If you look in the glossary, it'll say even that trivia book that came out last month or two months ago now, I did a video on that one. It says that that's canon. So it talks about, you know, the, the star signs and things like that. So anyways, lots of great updates on it. Go to darkcrystal.com. It is the only official, like, information on the internet about the Dark Crystal. You know, I know there's wikis out there that say they're official, and, there's, and you know, they're fan-made, and they're pretty good, but they're not official. These are official, so keep that in mind. How old are your childlings too old for this? <laughs> um, my childlings are not... You're never too old for Dark Crystal stuff. 
That's what I'm arguing. Sorry, I started looking at the chat. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in the news? Oh yes, so some other cool updates that we got from this was, you know, verification, you know, you when you go to info about the Vaporin clan, baby Kira, there it is, just as clear as can be. No doubt about it, she is a Evaporin origin, so. And we also got, you go to the Stonewood clan, further facts about the Stonewood clan, yada, 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 clan of Jen from the original movie. It's just like, they just threw it in there. All these questions that people had and were theorizing and this and that, and um, you, I mean, most people pretty much deduce this from various other things, but it's cool that they just have it there in writing. No need to argue about it now. We can argue about other things now, so we need to come up with new theories, more stuff. So anyways, super excited about that. What else do we have here in the news? Oh yes, uh, ThamesCon, the guys who put on the Dark Crystal conjunction, the first official Dark Crystal conjunction, I, I mentioned that they, they did have a, a, a new video panel featuring the creation of Th Thra, you know, people that were behind creating the original movie and whatnot. Well, they have had since had three more videos. Here you can see they have the children of Thra from the Great Conjunction. It's been nearly 40 years since, you know, some of these people here, uh, Jen and Kira, you know, the voices of, of Jen and Kira and, and the actors who played them as well. Uh, and here you have the Dark Crystal Q&A panel, the Skeksis Lords, and you have the Gentle Mystic. So a lot of really cool behind the scenes stuff you get here. It's really sweet. You can tell these people really love each other. Uh, it's just really, really great. Yeah, DJ Zapper saying, we need a canon game. Yeah, um, that would be cool. I really did like how Star Wars Battlefront 2 was like, this is a canon story, so it matters. I really, really love it. So, All right. I did also want to thank everyone who took part of the Dark Crystal Thrawathon. It, I think, was a great success. It was kind of something last minute, you know, Sean from uh, Facebook group uh, Angles of Eternity did. And it worked on based on certain criteria and whatnot in certain countries, certain people. Uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance started trending now. You know, we, we kind of just had a, let's all watch it this weekend and see if we can get it, you know, on the trending now. And we did. It was a, so I, I oops, let me go back. So I think that was a great success. I was super excited about that. Um, it stayed on for a couple days and then like the next weekend it was there again. And uh, it was pretty cool. I was really excited about that. We are going to plan another one later this year, so stay tuned when we do that. We're going to try to make it more, um, have some more interactive stuff with everyone. I think it'd be really cool. So I'm totally down with it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I also did want to let you guys know that the great Trial by Stone, the Dark Crystal podcast, did for some reason give me permission <laughs> to, or uh, has so gifted me to bring back the gathering songs and, and to have that happen again. What, if you don't know about the gathering songs, they're deep dive discussions into dark crystal media, like the books and comics and things like that. And so in the last one that came out May 5th, we did discuss chapters one through four. These are planned to come out once per month. So, you know, Togo Legos, you know, pick up and read, you know, join along with us if you haven't read. It's all pre-recorded. We did first start in March, March 24th is when we put out our first episode re-bringing it back it's been out for years and years and years um, but we hadn't finished flames of the dark crystal podcast so i'm super excited to be a part of it and to be hosting it so thank you to them uh keep that in mind of course every week they come out with great podcast as well and you can find of course great videos with dream fast with me he's got new shirts and logos and he's just he's killing i'm actually behind on his videos i need to i need to catch up on them but anyways that concludes today's um new show so i wanted to get it out this is the quickest way so sorry no editing this is just what you get i hope it worked uh what's the chat say unfortunately nothing I, you wouldn't be interested in it how how not <laughs> Suck <that all> day. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyways uh thanks y'all for watching there's bound to be more news i hope to see y'all in the zoom thursday the dark crystal trivia I'm super excited about it. I think it'd be fun. Um, I also have some extra Dark Crystal books and things like that. I need to figure out some way to give it away. Maybe the next live stream I'll put in some stuff in the chat. 
if you all are interested. Well, who's not interested in free books? So as long as it's U.S. shipping through the cost and all the hassle, then it is um, something that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, Superman Project. Happy name day to the Huberman Project. Happy happy birthday, at least. Happy name day is the Thraw equivalent of a birthday. So uh, happy name day. So anyways, until next time, keep exploring Thraw. How do I end this?